Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Uh, in this video I will show you how you can install a Blender plugin, how you can install a Blender asset library and how you can use your biome system. You will see it's really really easy. So first thing first, you need to have one of our plugins. So you can get, go get them at geoscatter.com. You go in the download page and from there you can get Biome Reader or Geoscatter on the Blender Market page or Gumroad. Uh, the second thing you need is some 3D models. Uh, remember guys, we are trying to create the best scattering platform for Blender and it needs to be universal. Our platform needs to work with any objects you'd like. We don't ship assets with our plugin anymore. We leave that to our partners and, and you can get a free library of plants called Plant Library. Simply, it's completely free. This was the old library that was shipped with our plugin is now standalone and completely free. You can get it on the Blender Market page. After that, you should get the following files. Uh, .zip file, that's your plugin, okay? A .wire file, that's our library of plants. As you can see, it's 700 megabytes. That's a lot of objects in there. And a few lightweight scat pack. Scat pack are to be installed within the plugins. So first of all, we will install a library of plants. Let's unwrap, let's uncompress this .rar file archive. I highly recommend you to use WinRAR or 7-zip. There are many ways you could uncompress files in your computer. So it's really easy. Once you have this little application to uncompress, uh, it's, it's quite common to uncompress stuff on your computer. I hope you can do that already. You just need to right click on your file and click on extract, okay? And it will uncompress uh, the, whatever is contained is this archive in your file explorer. And as you can see, we have a new folder with a blend file, that's our plans. And we can in fact already use this blend file. If we open it, let me show you, it already contains all the plans in this file okay but what we want to do what we want to do is use the, the these files in your asset browser library that's the best way you can use now assets in blender so let me show you how it's done it's really simple assuming your your pack of plants is working with the blender asset browser library you will simply copy the path to this blend file then you go in edit preferences You click on the plus button and you select your new path. Here it's this folder. Then you click on add asset browser library. As we can see, there is a new folder. We can also rename it plant library. Then you save your preferences and you can quit. And you will see in your asset browser, your new plant library and you can use them already and drag and drop them within your viewport. It will just work, okay? Really easy, really easy. So that is done. We have just installed a pack of plants. That is a quite a common operation uh, any Blender user should be able to do, installing an asset library. Uh, now, if you never install a Blender plugin, it's quite similar. You go in Edit, Preferences, you go in your add-ons and you click on install, all right? You click on install and then on your computer, you simply select the zip file, the zip file add-on you want to install and you click on install add-on. Once it is done, you will see that a new add-on has been added to your add-on list. Okay, really easy. Here you can see GeoScatter and we can enable it. Just click on a little checkbox and it will activate the plugin. That's it, it's working. Uh, if you don't see the GeoScatter plugin, uh, make sure you don't have filters here. You know, there's a way you can filter your plugin with enable only and all here. Make sure there's no filters uh, filtering away or plugin, right? 
So we just install the plugin, then you just simply save preferences. And as you can see, uh, there's a little arrow here you can open and close that will give you access to the plugin preferences. So the, the preferences of your plugin. So now let me show you how you can install biomes within the GeoScatter or Biome Reader plugin. You will see it's really easy. A pack of biomes is called a scat pack, but it can also contain presets or any external resources or plugins might use. So first thing first, you will select your terrain. Then you will click on open biomes and you will see that your library will be empty at first. Well, that's completely normal. Remember guys, our plugin is not shipped with biomes by default. You need to get some online and the plant library is here for that. It's completely free. So how to install the biomes? You click on file, install a scat pack. You choose your scat pack here, plant library biomes .scat pack. If you are installing GeoScatter, you might want to also install the scat pack containing presets for the scatter preset operator. So in this case, we will install a biome and simply click on install packages. You will have a message telling you that the installation was successful. Press on OK and in your library, you will see a new folder called plant library with all your biomes and you can already use them. Let me show you. Let's choose a biome. Uh, I don't know, forest four. And it will, it will first import the biomes layers one by one and then scatter them on your terrain automatically. Really handy, right? Let me try again. I will now use the white grass biomes and click on that. It will, again, scatter each layers one by one automatically to create a render ready result immediately. It's really powerful. So it's looking good, huh? Um, please remember a biome file do not contain any objects. When you click on a biome, it will first try to import the models by searching everywhere in your asset browser library. If it do not find the blend file it needs, you might see a message telling you that it did not find the blend file. If it is the case, go in your preferences, then you click on biome environment path. And the path you will see here will be the path where the plugin will search for the assets it needs. And you can add extra path if you need to, okay? So folks, that's it for this video. Uh, remember, if you have any questions whatsoever, we have a dedicated documentation website. And we also have, if you go on our website, you go below, you click on Discord, and join the Discord if you have any question. You can join the community and interact with us uh, if you have any problems. But I believe this video should answer all your questions related to installing plugins, installing an asset browser library, and installing a biome pack. All right? See you on the next video, folks. Bye-bye.